TV people out there, I am your boy George. Yes, I am the true truck driver. If you say you're true, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it, say it now. All right. This is why I told you guys, I'm going to flip the camera around, why I told you guys, if you in school getting your CDL license, get all your endorsements. CDL, hazmat, doubles and triples, tanker endorsement, and your TWIC card. If you have to get two, get a passenger endorsement. Motorcycle, do not miss any of your endorsements. And the reason why, I want you to see this. All right, those are chemicals. Yes, they're putting them on the back of the truck. I am, am doing a power only move. This is their trailer. Um, as you probably can't see, let me see if I can get the window down a little bit. But as you probably can see back there in the back, those are called totes, full of chemicals, all right? And the reason why I'm telling you guys this is um, about the hazmat is because these loads pay really well, all right? So you might go, I'm going 176 miles, the load is paying $1,500, okay? That's what it's paying, $1,500, because it required special license okay that has met that's one the tanker endorsement because those totes back there you have to have a tanker endorsement if they ask me to come pick up one of these one of their trailers right here i have the license in order to be able to do it that that's a tanker as you can see that's a tanker trailer they load those up also for us to take down south we drop them in a yard down there and pick up another empty trailer to bring back up here. But as you can see, they have refinery fuel out here. A lot of this stuff goes over to the ports in Cape Canaveral, down to Miami, Fort Lauderdale, um, to different ports uh, where they ship this stuff. Some of them, um, they refine it, use it again. So this company that I'm hauling for, why I'm telling you this, they have box trucks. They also have, um, I'm gonna have to show you guys if I can see one. Let me see this. Let me see this right here. I'm gonna see if y'all can see this. All right, so you seen that truck right there? That has a double double axle in the back, all right? So it only requires a B license, but it got air brakes on it. And it's also uh, a manual. So in order for you to get a job here, I think starting pay working here, and that's driving one of those, is right at about $24, $25 an hour. All right, this company right here does not require you to have experience, but they will put you in a truck with somebody else for at least three months. They don't want you to get in one of these tractor trailers just yet, just because you got a CDL class eight. Because you come right out of school, you want to jump in one of these trucks, but you have no experience on what you're doing. You haven't hauled no chemicals. You haven't done it. You also need not to bypass and get in a TWIC card. Because you heard what I said in the beginning. They go to a lot of ports, all right? A lot of the ships come in on the weekend and they are transferring clean water, fuel, out to the port. The dirty water, they bring it off the port, bringing it here, sending it down south, wherever it's got to go, somewhere in the state of Florida, they're sending it. So this is why I say you gotta have your twig. Now, the key about this, if you have felony, we'll say drug possession, where you're crossing state lines, look in your handbook. Make sure you read that handbook because this is not a job you will probably be able to get um, because you won't be able to get your hazmat. You won't be able to get on the port. 
okay? It depends on your felony. Read the book. I don't know which one it is um, because certain offenses will not allow you to have a hazmat. It will not allow you to have a twit card to get on the port with certain felonies. Don't waste your time, okay? You might want to look it up, see how long it takes. Um, it might take some years to see. Um, maybe it's a disqualification, all right? But look it up before you spend the money because I believe right now, I don't know, last time I took a hazmat, it was uh, quite a long time ago. It was like 180 dollars go get them fingerprints checked they send it off to fbi whatever homeland security run it back in and all of a sudden you were wasting your time and your money then you don't you can't get a twit card if you can't get a hazmat card you can't get a twit card if you can't get a twit card you can't get a hazmat they work hand in hand all right it's just like in the airport if you think you're going to get the tsa pre-check approval but you have a couple of terrible felonies on your background and you haven't done the research you'll just be wasting your money and your time doing it it's not gonna happen but for those that can get those license and i mean not the license but the endorsements i want you to get each and every endorsements because there are no you you don't want to come back and do this all over again if you're thinking about owning your own truck the whole nine, you just do not want to do this all over again. See my man right here? You just don't want to do this all over again with trying to get a job, you got a job, and then all of a sudden you say, I want to go to work local. Nobody's going to be able to hire you local because most of the stuff that you see AAA Cooper doing, UPS, FedEx, um you name it some of the smaller companies most of their drivers have hazmat doubles and triples tanker endorsement because they move a lot of products like batteries where you gotta have the hazmat chemicals like this in the back where i just showed you those are totes it was totes going back a drive-in trailer guess what you gotta have tanker endorsement to haul those totes if not you miss out on the money if you plan on getting in one of these trucks and driving one of these trucks down the highway um february january february i'll be in longwood florida at the safe tax office look it up safe tax office so if you need help you work for warner you work for swift you work for jb hunt you get a w-2 you got a girlfriend wife kids you need help with your taxes we also are able to help you yes we also own a tax office i do this part time to show you guys that not only do i drive the truck i have driven a truck also have ran also running a full freight brokerage right now i tell you guys this because i don't just talk about it it's things that i do that I've done myself personally. See, there's nobody else in the truck with me. One of my truck drivers is down in uh, West Palm Beach right now. I'm gonna meet up with him. I'm gonna put y'all along with him in a little while once I get down on that side of the earth. And uh, that way, cause we got an issue with one of our trucks down there. So I wanted to go see what was going on, talk to one of the mechanics down there cause the differential went out. That's the other thing. Learn about your trucks and your equipment. I'm your boy, George. Anything you want to talk about, I want you to hit me up. And then last of all, you got to subscribe to the channel because I talk to you, teach you, tell you what you want to hear, what you don't want to hear because I am your boy, George. Yes, the true truck driver. Say it.